Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network, and now in its second big year. For today's story, we're going back to Friday, June 22nd, 2007. Some of you may already know where I'm going with this. It was on this day, otherwise calm, tranquil, serene. Those who live there described it as serene, but maybe too serene. It was nice, but too nice. Those that reported afterwards said they remembered on that day before it happened uh, that the birds were chirping, the mosquitoes were buzzing. It happened in Manitoba, so the birds buzzing, uh, the mosquitoes buzzing probably sounded more like drones or helicopters if you're familiar with the size of the bugs. Uh, But there was also that familiar, uh, almost soft, soothing, rhythmic tone. It was the low rumble of thunder off in the distance. But other than that, that was it with regards to any threatening weather on the horizon. And then shortly after dinner, it happened. We're talking about the F5 tornado that struck Eli, Manitoba, about 40 kilometers west of the city of Winnipeg. It was the first F5 ever recorded in Canada. It is the most powerful on the Vegeta scale, and it packed winds that were estimated to have been in the 420 kilometer per hour range. How rare is an F5? Well, first of all, in Canada, it's ultra rare because that was the first time that it ever happened in the history of the country. But globally, worldwide, they amount for less than 1% of all tornadoes. And once again, as I'd mentioned, this one was upgraded to F5 after further examination from what happened in Eli, Manitoba on this day in weather history.